Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. It is Moto2 time now. Daisy has wrapped up the championship and she starts on the second row in fourth position. So just like our Moto3 team, they are sporting a gold livery. Carmona, seventh place for him, which isn't too bad. Right, let's go racing. Okay, so Daisy, soft, medium. And Carmona, soft, medium as well. Okay, same tyre combination for both riders. Let's see what they can do around Mategi. Six laps, here we go. Well, that was a good... Well, it was a decent start for Daisy. She goes through turn one. Oh, they're down. They're down. Daisy is down. That was four riders into one. Oh, five riders, in fact. Maybe six all went down. I think it was five. Might have just been the four. It was a lot of them anyway. Carmona leads because of that catastrophe. Chavi Carmona leads. The curse of Mategi has come to bite Daisy Jackson. Luckily, she's already wrapped up the championship, so not too bad there. But uh, Carmona leads. Our number two rider in the team leads the race. Hopefully, he will stay there, but I doubt he will. He's got the two Etal Tran bikes behind him. Dalla Porta second, Bastianini third, but looks like uh, Fernandez was just about to come through. Yeah, I think Fernandez. Bastianini is now second. Carmona's got a bit of a gap. Oh, that was Fernandez in a little bit too hot. They're all a bit. A bit ragged at the moment, that AI. I don't really know what they're doing. Meanwhile, Carmona's just poodling along in, in the lead, just uh, trying to extend his lead. Look, he's got a gap. He's got a gap. And Carmona usually comes good towards the end of the race. His first lap is usually pretty poor. Daisy, she's got damage, but she's in 25th place. She can get points from there. Luckily, it was on the first lap, first corner, and they didn't lose too much time. But yeah, that was not good. Literally, just all four of them just didn't work out, unfortunately. Luckily, like I said, the championship has been wrapped up by Daisy, so uh, that's good. But Carmona leads from Bastianini in second, Augusto Fernandez third, Luca Marini fourth, and Sam Lowe's in fifth. Keep going, Carmona. Keep going. He might do a similar thing to what Rizal done in Moto3. Maybe our number two riders are good around Mateki. Yeah, we'll see what he does. If he can maintain that lead would be nice, but... um. I've got a feeling he will fade, but hopefully not. Daisy's got moderate damage now, but she's up to 21st position. Come on, DJ. Get some points. Here she goes on Digi. Who look oh, wow, okay. <laughs> that's two of them down, so that's 18th place. That rider got flung right up in the air. And past Garzo. That's the wrong side, though. Oh. So moderate damage for Daisy. She can't take too many more hits. But she has got seven teeth. Yeah, she's going to get some points. She's just behind Jake Dixon now. See if she blasts past anyone down this straight. At the moment, it's a no. Oh, hang on. Here she goes. Careful. Just as she starts picking up the speed, she has to get on the brakes. Garzo isn't done with yet. Oh, that's off track. That's off track. Up the inside for 16th position. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Nicely done. Carmona, 51-2. Fernandez is now in second position, though. He's just at the fastest lap. So, uh, I'm expecting Fernandez to, to close that gap down, unfortunately. Daisy's in the points now. She's up to 15th. Still behind Dixon. But she's in the points. She's been down on the ground. Up the inside. Of... No, not quite. Thought she was going to have Dixon there. But uh, didn't quite work out. A bit wide as well. 
Carmona, meanwhile, still up front. I'm surprised Fernandez hasn't pulled away from third position yet. I thought he might have pulled away and started to, to close in on um, Carmona. Here comes Marini up the inside of Fernandez, though. It's Marini who has the pace. Yeah, one of them is going to catch Carmona, I think. I mean, Mar Marini's already put a little gap into Fernandez, so... Yeah, this is probably going to be fastest lap of the race to Marini. Daisy's in 12th place. She's, she's going to get inside the top 10 still. Unless she has another coming together or she barges too many people. Then, of course, she will end up... Uh, getting even more damage and then it's just going to go horribly wrong so 12th place at the moment passed into 11th not quite nearly nearly into 11th she's going to try and go the long way around again and that puts her up the inside for victory corner and again it's worked daisy up to 11th carmona fastest lap 50.7 any advancements? I mean, Marini is pretty close. He's close out. He's almost half that gap. But it's not saying fastest lap to Marini, but he's nearly with Carmona now. That's not what we wanted. Expecting another lap time to come up on screen at some point during this lap. And for it to say Luca Marini. There we go. 49.8. Just as I speak about it, it appears so Marini is fastest man on track at the moment. DJ still in 11th, nearly up to 10th. She might be able to get 9th here. So she's just behind Martin and Dalla Porter. It's going to be a pretty decent recovery though. Here she goes. No, not quite. Carmona still leading. Marini's still there in second position. Carmona's still got to hold on for two more laps. And it looks like that whole group is catching him now. Which is not what we wanted to see. Again, he's fine. Oh, here comes Fernandez on Marini. Nope, nearly. Nearly got through. So if those two keep fighting, that will be good. Oh, that'll be good uh, for for Carmona. Meanwhile, Daisy's still in 11th place. Carmona, Marini, Fernandez, Bezeki, Lowe's, Gardner, Roberts, Bastianini, Dallaporta, Martin, and DJ in 11th place. Carmona. Oh, he's still got a gap. Fernandez is back up to second position, but Marini's trying to come back through. That's what we need to see. We need those two to keep fighting. Because Carmona's actually opened that gap up again. He might be able to do this, you know. He might be able to do this. I would love it if he could. It'd be amazing, because he hasn't had the best of seasons, but to get a win... I'd be very happy. Still waiting for Daisy to get past uh, Jorge Martin. She's struggling now. She doesn't seem to have the pace, but the two Etel trans seem to be fading. See that scratched fare in there? Yeah, both Etel trans bikes are struggling. Come on, Daisy. Oh, Martin just straight into the back of the beast. Oh, here she goes. Nearly, she has, oh, nearly got ninth. But she's actually going to stay in 11th because she went wide. Come on, back up to 10th. Back up to 10th. Yeah, she's got it momentarily. Yeah, she's got 10th, okay. Back with Carmona. He's still got a lead. Fernandez is trying. But that is still a lead. I don't know what the lead is. Carmona over the line. Last lap. 
Can he do it? Please, if you can, that would be absolutely fantastic. That will move him up the order. So Daisy, still not past Martin yet. Still not past him. Go on, Daisy. Go on, not into the back of him. Not into the back of him. We've seen that happen a few times around this race. Carmona still leads. He's going to do it. Fernandez and Marini cannot quite close in. And it looks like Marini's going to try and have another go at Fernandez. It's going to be one of them, isn't it? I know people have been asking for me to sack Carmona. And to be honest, if I was doing another season, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought to continue with him, but he's about to do it here at Mategi. Daisy still can't get past. Carmona, come on. Carmona, you're going to do it. Carmona is going to win. He's going to take his first win of the season, his first ever Moto2 win. Marini has got Fernandez. Carmona's going to do it. After being nowhere near the podium all season. Carmona. Xavi Carmona has won a race here at Mategi. What a result. Daisy Jackson doesn't quite get Jorge Martin, but she does get 10th place, top 10, despite crashing at Turn 1 on the first lap. That's good. Look at that. Carmona done it. He won by 2.1 seconds. Well, that will silence the critics. Well done, Carmona. Bezeki second, Fernandez third, Lowe's fourth. Marini ended up in fifth place. What happened to him? Uh, Gardner sixth, Robert seventh, Dalaporta eighth, Martin ninth, and Daisy Jackson in tenth. Look at that. So, obviously, Daisy had already wrapped up the title. Um, Luti is still in third. Fernandez is still second. Bezeki's moved up to fourth. Schrott is down to fifth. Baldessari sixth. Carmona with that win has jumped up four positions to seventh place. And he's only one point behind Baldessari. I mean, realistically, maybe sixth place is as high as he's going to get. But that's still good. Team championship still looking good. I mean, what a result for Carmona. I mean, that crash for his teammate and the three other riders at Turn 1 was a blessing in disguise because that put Carmona into the lead and he just led from there. So our second tier rider in Moto3 won around here and so was our second tier rider in Moto2. Well done. Phillip Island is next. More of the same, please. Phillip Island for Moto2. Daisy Jack, 7th place. What is going on, Daisy? Seven, that's a really bad qualifying for her. Where's Carmona then? 6th. Okay, so Carmona slightly ahead of Daisy there. Okay, let's see how the race goes. Because our Moto3 team didn't do that great around here. Hmm. Okay, let's go racing. Let's see how this one goes. Here we go. Um, well, I mean, Carmona, I think, got a decent start. He's gone for the inside for turn one. He's up to fifth. Daisy trying to go the long way around. That's going to put her up the inside for the southern loop. So Daisy... Daisy, where are you? There you are. Fourth position for Daisy. So not bad. Carmona's too wide. He's losing more positions. What he could have done with is more people crashing at turn one, but unfortunately that didn't happen. All right, down towards Honda Hairpin. Up the inside for Daisy. Back up to fourth past Nagashima. Oh, Nagashima back up the inside. Yeah, he's got that one. 
he's got that one so Daisy down to fifth position Carmona 11th so yeah not a good good start for all, um, Carmona at all after the result he had at Mategi I was really hoping he was going to be able to you know start doing some good but we'll see because he you know usually he does this kind of thing anyway and then he comes good towards the end of the race so yeah we'll have to wait and see DJ though fifth position I don't know what's going on at the moment because like I said Moto3 wasn't that great around here and the Moto2 team seems to be struggling a little bit very bizarre See if Daisy can make any progress, but currently sitting in fifth position. We may not get any riders on the on the podium at all here. Again, just like Moto3, it's a good job Daisy's got the title wrapped up already. The team championship is still open. But after this one, we've only got two races to go, Sepang and Valencia. Yeah, Fernandez is going to come through. Fernandez up the inside through Siberia. And that is Fernandez up to fifth position. Daisy trying to get it on the outside, but it's not going to work there. That's another position Daisy has lost, but back up the inside of Fernandez. Fernandez has now got the inside yet. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be one of those races. It's going to be one of those races. I think Carmona is down to about 12th place now. Well, he will be when Bezeki gets through. And that's looking quite likely at the moment. Marco Bezeki. Yeah, he's right there. He's right there. He's going to blast past him on this straight. Here he comes. Bit of slipstream as well. And... No. No. Not quite, not quite nearly Adam Navarro fastest lap of the race. <laughs> Again, what a weird race this is. Daisy's still in sixth and probably going to lose a position to, uh, is that Digi behind? Yeah, it is. So going to lose a position again soon, I think. She's not going to threaten for the podium, that's for sure. We're on lap three of six already. Hmm. It's not working. It is not working for Daisy. I'm starting to worry about my MotoGP race around here now. Because Moto3 was weird. Moto2 is being weird. I think the MotoGP race might be weird as well. Who's to say? We'll find out when we get to that anyway. So, end of lap three. Daisy still in sixth. Carmona still in 11th. I tell you what, Bezeki's dropped back. But uh, Carmona's actually lost a place to Beze uh, Ben Snyder. Nearly said Ben Snyder. <laughs> yeah, why? Just go past him. You don't need to go into the back of him. But yeah, that's 10th place. That's as high as you're going to get. Wow, okay. Bulliger turned into a MotoGP rider there. And uh, blasted past. Lowe's fastest lap. What is going on? Daisy still struggling. Schrotter's starting to drop though. So Daisy may get... Oh, no. Yeah, again. What is going on? You're meant to be going around them. You're meant to be smart AI. You're meant to be neural AI. So Daisy's up to fifth. See if she can catch Fernandez. I doubt it. I very much doubt it, but we'll see. We shall see. Do me a favour, please, Daisy, and just... At least get on the podium. I know you're probably not going to, but Carmona's still in 11th place. He can't get any higher. 
The Zeki is starting to close back in. Bastianini is dropping like a, a stone. We've got two races to go after this and uh, I hope they're not like this one because it is so weird to see our, well, our champion, our three times Moto3 champion, Moto2 champion, sorry, Daisy Jackson struggling in uh, fifth position. And the fact that Lowe's has set the fastest lap of the race, he is uh, two places behind Daisy now in seventh. I think it might be the tyres. Left hand side of Daisy's rear tyre is almost completely shot. And uh, Carmona's is not doing much better either. And Bezecchi's going to come through. Here comes Marco Bezecchi into Honda hairpin up the inside. He's got that one done nice and neatly. Carmona 12th. Daisy, Digi and Lowe's are catching you. They're going to get you. It has been a weird race, that's for sure. Moto3 was weird as well. And this one's weird. <laughs> Luckily, we've got one more lap to go. One more lap to go. Navarro fastest lap again, 30.3. That took a long time for that lap time to come up. Very long time. Okay then, one lap to go. Still in fifth. Oops, still in twelfth. Not really a lot happening with our riders, unfortunately. They're not really making the moves. Bezeki's made quite a few places up now. He's inside the top ten. Can Carmona make any places up here? Schrotter is about to be done by Bulliger. Daisy, still fifth. Not really going to catch Fernandez, I don't think. Yeah, we're not going to get a podium here for our team. No podium at all. The best Daisy's going to get, she may be able to get Fernandez. I'm not entirely convinced she will. But fourth position is there. But yeah, no podium. No podium. And no top 10 for Carmona. He's got past Schrosser though. Bizarre. Oh, that's uh, Daisy straight to the back of Fernandez. Now she's got light damage. Dear, the AI just seemed like overly dumb on this, this track. Digi's caught him. Carmona's still 11th, but he's all over the back of Bulliger. Back with Daisy, it's going to be fifth. She ain't going to get into the line. You had your chance to get past him, but you decided to try and go through him rather than around. Fifth position. Carmona, 11th. Not good. Not good. At least they both ended up in the points, I suppose, but still not great, so... Uh, Bezaki had fast slap. He actually ended up in 8th place there. Bizarre race. Very bizarre. So that is the championship. Carmona has now lost her position to Nagashima. So he's dropped down to 8th. But yeah. There we go. We have no... Uh, no part fur, mate. So yeah, that is it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Two races left to go. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and to wash your hands. See you.